Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. It's such an honor and privilege to be here tonight. It's so exciting to be back on stage with my friends and what was like my family for me for seven years. JD and Sean and John. And it's, uh, it brings back, brings back a lot of memories. It's good to see a lot of you. I recognize a few faces, believe it or not. <laughs> we haven't all changed that much, have we? Um, Elvis, uh, today marks 22 years. I actually had met him on August 16th, 22 years ago today. It was the first day that I started working with him. And uh, when the first time I went to Graceland, he was walking, he was uh, listening to uh, Leontine Price, an operatic singer singing Amazing Grace, and Mario Lanza. And I, when I was hired, called on the phone, I thought it was somebody in person, I thought it was some, somebody that was crazy calling me, saying it was Elvis Presley and wanted me to sing with him. I thought, how could he possibly, the king of rock and roll, possibly use me, a soprano, in his show? And what I didn't know about him then was that he had this in incredible taste for a variety of music that was just unsatiable and, and covered the span of every music genre that you could imagine. His record collection was unbelievable. It just covered the entire range and scope of every culture, every race and of peoples that, that are arrived and lived here in the United States of America, and only in this country could he have absorbed those musical sounds from all of those different cultures and not only given America its music, but in reality gave the world its music. And uh, I just uh, think as a, he was a great American. He con contributed greatly not only to this country, but to the whole world by giving the world America's music. Uh, very briefly, uh, when Elvis would call me out to do solos for him, I'm reminded tonight that he used to uh, like to stand right about there and conduct the orchestra while I sang. And he'd like to make me hold out a, little, a high note a little longer or something, but uh, I just uh, thought of that earlier and it hadn't occurred to me in a long time. I kind of feel like maybe he's there conducting tonight. <laughs> there was one song before he passed away that he said, Kathy, you ought to do this song. It'll be a good one for you. And I just got around to, to doing it just recently. It was by one of his favorite artists, Roy Orbison, who's a great singer and musician. It's called Crying. And I'd like to do that not only for you, but for Elvis too.
much, ladies and gentlemen. Enjoy the show. Thank you for coming tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, Kathy Westmoreland. Let's hear it one more time for the lovely, lovely lady, Kathy Westmoreland. The spirit of America is like pulling yourself up by your bootstraps when somebody kicks you right in the guts. Three years ago, our next guest suffered a serious stroke. And everybody said, what's going to happen to this man? He lost complete use of a leg and an arm. And in three years, he said, hey, I'm not going to let it happen. And he has fought back. And he's here with us tonight. Elvis's rhythm guitarist and a tremendously wonderful man, Mr. John Wilkerson, ladies and gentlemen. John Wilkerson. 